Lintot's in. Duckett comes down and parried by Lintot. And there's no run. Is that a bump ball or was that a catch, do you think? Well, I called a couple the other night and got the replays and it proved that uh, they were bump balls. I think Lintot's not frustrated with himself, which I think he probably would have been, having mm. got both hands to it. I think it's probably a bump ball, that one. At least it was a dot. We'll take that. We need a bit of pressure, don't we? Yes. We need your action ball to come. So what's yeah, that? Three do. dots and then an action ball, isn't it? It's coming now. This yeah. is the one. There's the second dot ball. I was asking Thea about this the other night. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The more, you, the more you, like, you notice it a lot more now, it's happening. Now you've told me about it. I can't. You see it's it, all, don't I'm you? always thinking, yeah, and it does happen. The pressure just builds. Lintot in again. Duckett sweeps. To bounce the boundary and out. There we go. And we've got the wicket. And it's Sam Hain with a catch. And it's Ben Duckett is on his way. And Lintot delivers for the Bears. So the action ball is going to be six or out. Thankfully, just on the ropes. Didn't quite get it. Good Sam, break through that from Lintot. Yeah, Sam Hain with a catch. 55 for two then. Here's the score. And a terrific wicket for Jake Lintot to gather. That of Ben Duckett. Hales is still there, of course. It looks like it's going to be Tom Moores coming to the crease. Played a very pivotal role at the other end uh, against the Falcons the other night while Hales was battering it all around. He just accumulated 22 off 21 and gave him the strike. Which Definitely. He tends to hit in quite unorthodox areas as well. I find he's quite a difficult player to bowl at. You have the inside knowledge now, of course, with your... Time over Trent Bridgeway. Here's that wicket again. Lintot to duck it. Just had to reach for it a little more than he'd probably have liked. And Hayne, well, Dancing that was on the ropes. I was going to say that was quite <laughs> tight to the ropes. We saw Alex Hale's palm one over in the Bears innings, but Hayne with a catch. Three balls gone in the over. A wicket and two dots so far from Lintot. He bowls again to Moores, who has got room to turn that onto the leg side for a single. It's always difficult fielding under lights anyway, but also with the clouds. It's hard to pick up the ball. You've got nothing to kind of judge it against. So those, those catches on the ropes can be a lot more difficult than they look. Who would you say in, your, in, the, in the Bears uh, women's T20 campaign, who was the star performer this year? Or was it um, just an all-round team effort? All-round all team. Um, I think the, the key innings was Beth and Ellis in the final. We, we really were under the pump. Um, and she got 57, I think it was. Lintot's caught and bowled. He's got Hales. It's two in the over for Jake Lintot. That's and it's the two danger men. It's Duckett and Hales who are on their way for the Outlaws. That is a huge wicket by Lintot. Absolutely game-changing over. Exactly what the Bears needed. Well, no wonder he willed away in celebration. Momentum has changed now. That's his 13th wicket of the campaign so far. And Alex Hales is furious with himself. <laughs> He's, uh, it's a slow walk. He's still shaking his head. He'd scored 30 off of nine balls. Dan Christian will come to the crease. Got batter after batter, haven't they? And there's the wicket again. It's a great catch from Lintot. Absolute dolly and... Hales was livid, turned away in disgust. He'll be annoyed there. He's, he's tried to work that for one instead of sticking with whacking it how he has been. Well, it's your philosophy. Why turn it for Why one I when you can whack it? I've, I've had the same where you, you drop your intent. You think, I'll oh, just play it, play it a little bit safer now. And it just kind of disrupts your rhythm and you flow. I think if you've seen it that well, just, just keep going. And it's hard though because when you, if you have lost a wicket in the over... You know that losing two in that stage where you're trying to whack it won't look great, but dropping your intent can also create a wicket opportunity for the bowler too. Well, I just want to get out of here without a boundary. And Lintot will just concede a single off the last ball of the over. Christian's off and running. And that's four overs complete. What an over on that occasion from Jake Lintot. 57 for three. Two from it and two wickets as well. He's potentially got himself as well. And he's gone go. big, up in the air. Again, is it going to fall short or is he going to get there? Oh, and he can't, Sam Hain. He had the first, the second attempt. And unfortunately, there wasn't a third. And Moore survives again. 
That's not. That's barely got out the ring. So Sam Hain has done such a good job to get there. Well, he has charged all the way in from long on. He did all the hard work and he got there. He would be very disappointed with that himself. Yeah, I don't think anyone else could have uh, even got close, but right. 71 for three. And Moores is uh, a bit of a cat here. He's got a few lives already. Let's hope he's not got nine. Once again, Lintot creating the opportunity, though. Hopefully he can pull it out of the bag this over. Followed by a dot ball as well. 71 for three. Christian on four and on strike. Moores is on nine. 28 required now. From 16 balls. Evo Shaughnessy. Back to his mark. Lintot's in again. And he comes down the wicket this time. Christian just going to be a single to Adam Hose. 72 for three. 27 required. Off of 15. It, it sounds gettable, but it, it's still going to take you a bit of hitting, know, yeah. isn't it? You just never know. I think if one of these two is still here, you need probably somebody to stay at home for them. What does Moores do? Does he try and go big again? He comes down and he just uh, uses his hands to just try and find the gap uh, between mid-wicket and long on. And in the end, he just gets a single. 73 for three. A dot ball and three singles off the over so far. Going well, but we need a wicket here. Whether mm. the whether the outlaws though just decide to see him off and then pack the other bowlers could be their plan. Well, they've got their captain at the crease in Dan Christian. And that's one bounce to Adam Hose. Just a single. Well, they need more than singles, but you're right, maybe they're thinking Lintot will just uh, Take it carefully. Yeah, can't bowl again after this over, can he, now? 11 balls, 2 for 6 so far for Jake Lintot. Last ball to the over. 25 more required. Morse has missed it. In fact, everyone's missed it. And they're going to get a couple of buys here. Thankfully, the outfield is a little bit slower now with the amount of rain that they've had. And they do get two buys. 76 for 3 then. At the end of the six over. And what's that with six overs? So two overs remaining, 23 more required. 